right, Guy Benson here with Chef Daryl Schuler at Farm in the greater Atlanta area. I'm here with 1063 Extra for an amazing event for the station. And I don't know how I agree to this, but I am going to have one of the only master chefs in the country teach me how to cook at least somewhat competently is my hope. Thanks so much for having me. I've got the apron and everything. I'm looking official. Guy, this is simple. You know, we're gonna do some pan-seared scallops. We're gonna do a risotto. And this is one of the dishes that we're serving tonight. So as you watch this dish come to life, just imagine yourself sitting in here eating these flavors and then God, you're the mastermind behind it. But this is a simple, simple process. So what we're gonna do is, let's put some oil in there. How much? Uh, just a little bit. In both or just That's one? Perfect. That's perfect. All right. Didn't screw that up. But so what we're going to do is just do a little salt pepper. And what I want you to do is okay. take a salt bay. Exactly. Hold it high and just let it fall. Okay? Just let it fall. You'll see it's it. Like the scallops. It's Beautiful. Let's do it one more time. The salt is so important because what it does is it creates that sear, right? And then we think about scallops, it, it has that softness to it, has that sea type of flavor profile. But without that sear, you lose the complexity. Hard on the outside, you really soft do. on the inside. That's right, that's right. Just drop them in there. Flat down in there. Beautiful. And when you hear that sizzle, that lets you know that the pan is hot and that we're doing it the right way. Okay, I've got a commercial break in two minutes. I gotta flip these things. This risotto here is gonna have some roasted mushrooms, nice. fresh garlic, herbs, and cheese. Okay, and that combination is going to go really well with these scallops. What kind of cheese? So Parmesan. Oh yeah. You can't go wrong with that, nice. right? Nice. And you see that ladle? Yes. Put in a ladle, like two ladles of that stock into this scallop. Right now? Yes. Into the risotto? Yep, into the risotto. Ready? One. One. Second one? One more. Beautiful. Uh, by the way, I'm almost at two minutes, I think. So let's, let's tilt one over. Let's see the color. Yeah, let's let's look got a little time on there. Oh yeah, it's brown. All right, go ahead and flip it over. Beautiful. Looks better than me, man. Oh, shut Beautiful. Up. I love it. That looks nice, though. I love it. That looks nice. I love it. You can start seeing it come together really, really nice there. Okay. Some fresh herbs. Some fresh garlic. How much butter? About two of those cubes. Oh, uh, this is the good stuff. That's perfect. Pure health right here, but. Right there. Beautiful. A little bit good. more. One more. Beautiful. You can't smell this. I wish you could smell this. Okay. The cheese is melting. You see the cheese fun. melting. Now what this is this perfect right here? Okay, got. That is beautiful. It oh smells God. amazing. Oh, uh, and, and that's the aroma. That's the specialty about Farm Kitchen and Bar, is that the aroma just kind of works its way out into the dining room there. All right, sprinkle a little bit more cheese on top. We focus on more of protecting the ingredient and showcasing it in its natural form without overworking well, it. You're not hiding the natural flavor and, no. and covering with a bunch of sauces and stuff. No. It's just simple. That's right. You gotta do it for the gram, right? First. Mm. That is perfectly cooked. Oh yeah, and it's not overcooked that's either. Right. Oh, that's good. Great job to you. Well, thanks for helping me actually not screw this up too badly. Thank God. Thank you so much, man. Yeah. I Thank appreciate you. it. I cannot wait for this dinner. It's going to be awesome. Oh, it's going to be awesome.